NCAA approves any staff member to provide technical and tactical instruction to athletes. In other words, unlimited coaching staffs have now mm. been approved at the NCAA Division One level. Um, JB, Cisco, man. Go ahead, Cisco. Cisco, one of y'all, y'all the coaches, man. So is that in. because of? Remember who was the one that was hired as an advisor, or what was it? Kingsbury. Is it? You think that's the Kingsbury rule? Well, Smitty and I talked about it. I was breaking it down to him and Bailey last night on a conversation. I want to ask you, you're dealing with these D1 coaches right now. You deal yeah. with football coaches right now recruiting your kids. So I want to I want to break down this whole thing because I don't think it's a novice person out here really realizes. You better not send the fellowship coach to recruit my kid, man. <laughs> <laughs> well, here's it better be a coordinator a, or somebody. <laughs> Come on, that's man. That's a great or, point, though. That's, position. I, that's, that's kind of the point that I'm making. So everybody out there, just I'm going to break this whole thing down really quickly for you all and, and try to be as, as as vanilla as I possibly can real quick. There used to be nine coaches that were allowed to go on the road to recruit. The on-the-road recruiting coaches, that, that amount was the same coaches that were allowed to go on the road are the same coaches that were paid coaches on staff who could legitimately instruct, construct, illustrate, show example, uh, demonstrate, teach on the field, coach on the field, coach in a meeting room, et cetera, et cetera. Okay? So if there were nine coaches on the road recruiting, those were the same nine coaches that were allowed to coach hands-on, teach in meeting rooms, Exactly the same. Two years ago, they added a coach and made it 10. Okay? They made it 10 coaches. So now 10 coaches can go on the road, and the same 10 coaches are the paid coaches on staff. Then they started adding analysts. We've always had grad assistants who are non-paid, paying, mostly usually paying, or a scholarship sort of deal on a grad assistant who is trying to get their degree, and they're basically getting your coffee, your donuts for the head coach, or... They're writing up cards. They're drawing up playbooks. GAs are doing all the grunt work that you see all the pretty social media things, overlays and edits and all that. GAs and all that. Then they added social media people, uh, Photoshop folks. They added uh, all these different people. Well, now Alabama, USC started to get up around 90 staff. Damn. Nick Saban had 96 coaches. We're going to call them coaches. 96. 96 staff. 96 <laughs> no staff. way. 96 staff. <laughs> staff members. So 96, so 96, coaches, 96 yeah. staff was at Alabama. Is a grounds crew considered part no, of it? No, 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 no. This say, is damn. just straight up analytics. Uh, anal analyst. Analytics. GAs. Uh, you have all these quality. Now they added quality control years ago. Then you started adding uh, recruiting coordinators on campus. High school relations. You, they, they made up a million fucking tutors. Things. That's where you bring the women in. Exactly. <laughs> so so here's the here's here's the reason. Here, here is the reason why I want to break this down. I don't believe you can pay over 10 coaches. I don't believe that's going to change, Smitty. I don't believe I think the 10 is going to stay. What they're saying is now anyone on staff could actually hands on tell Cisco, hey, drop back. On a oh, film, no. being on national TV like Cliff Kingsbury. Cliff Kingsbury was not part of the 10 last year. And, I, and, and Zach Smith and I made a video about it and said, that's fucking illegal. He was coaching Caleb Williams directly on game, on fucking national yep. television. I made a huge video about it. I'm like, this motherfucker is illegal. Why is that not being talked about? Well, it became a, a deal. Then Warren Sapp was, was hired at Colorado as a what? GA. Right. Analyst at first, though, they changed the GA because he got caught on all their social media shit coaching. Right. He wasn't allowed to coach. You're only allowed to have 10 coaches actually instruct. So I believe what's happening is that the coaches and everyone's starting to bitch and say, you know what? Everyone's doing it. It's just like the whole fucking still in the signs shit at Michigan. <laughs> right. <laughs> everyone's doing it. Let's just open up the floodgates. Always. Everyone's doing the communication. Why did communications now become legal this year? First time in college football, we're going to have fucking telecommunications in the ear. Because mm. of the Michigan fucking thing. So Harbaugh was the scapegoat. Just like the JB rule at Cabrillo. Now it's legal. Right. Think about all this shit. This is another fucking way that you the big dogs eat. Cliff Kingsbury was caught. 
Lincoln Riley and USC's a blue blood. Mm-hmm. We talked about they're not going to do shit but slap them on the hand. Michigan stole signs. Really? So did everybody else. Slap them on the hand. Who has now stole tele- signs? Now telecommunications is legal. Now fucking more than 10 coaches is legal all of a sudden. It's all bullshit, dog. And they all know it. And they can't control it. So they're yeah. going to say fuck it. And, I, and honestly, JB, I don't really think it changes much, though. Like, I don't, I don't think this is going to change. Well, like, it, it, it all comes down to the but, ten. but there's coaches, that, there's schools that can afford more coaches yes. and schools that can't. Nobody's going to be able right. to pay ninety staff. Is bo- is nobody? That, is nobody. San Jose right. State going to be able to pay ninety? Well, not only ninety. Let's just say, let's Sac- just say, let's Sac- say twenty. Sac- Are you going to allow? Here's where it's going to get real great. Are you allowing any swinging dick to go represent your staff? On in a house visit, it don't recruiting. make sense. Nah, you need to have some people who know what they're doing. So, if right. I'm gonna have a GA that I just hired that can't even draw a card yet, and hey, dog, you're part of the staff. I need you to flop on a fucking flight and go to Miami and recruit this five star kid. Right, this motherfucker gonna walk in there like a whore in church. And is the kid gonna uh, sign? What do you? What's your academics? Uh, 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 what do you guys do? Uh, what? How do you break down? What quarters coverage you roll? Uh, uh, I mean, I just get the donut. <laughs> like, come on, we can't just throw everybody out on the road. So, like, how many? I still believe ten will be the cutoff. Right. And then I don't believe you'll allow more than ten. Which on the is road. why I'm saying I don't think it's gonna be too much of a change. Though, this to thing. your point. To your point. I'll well, be, well, but, no, the, the change is going to be how many are they going to allow to be paid and on the road? And how many are hey, really going to be If the assistant the assistant recruited you, would you have signed? No, it wouldn't have worked. It wouldn't have worked. You don't know what you're talking about. You, you don't know how to motivate me. I don't know that, you. That, that, you're not really even like And my that's my coach. point. Like, yeah. when are they – When until we know what the number is, because let's be honest, no no school in America, I don't care if you're A&M, we talked about earlier, Ohio State or whatever. Nobody is going to be able to pay or want to pay twenty coaches, yeah, five hundred plus. It's not even worth power it though. Five, like nobody's going to pay a twenty-one year old wet behind the ear GA. Yeah, now because he's a full time coach and he can coach my QB, nobody's going to pay him five hundred K though, right? To go out and do recruit, do all the shit. Anybody can maybe talk to you now, and that's only because Cliff Kingsbury got caught on the field last year coaching Caleb Williams. They 100%. changed the rule, but let's just be honest. I don't believe that they're going to change it over 10 on the road. And that's going to be what's actually paid on a full staff. Everybody else is going to continue what they do. I just think now you don't get caught wearing a vest, a orange hat, right. holding a card, coaching the queue, telling them what the play is. And that's it. And that's it. I think oh, well, everything y'all been but doing. I, but under the right, I, I, exactly. I, I think this, this is going to enable coaches to bring their friend in and give them, you know, pay them some money, give them, give them a job. I think that's what that's going to allow. Well, it doesn't allow you to hire more. It's just telling you that the current staff, everybody on it, can actually coach you without having any restrictions. Oh, you, you can't more pay more. Oh, so you you more, more. Oh, you, you can't more. pay more. No, you're not paying them. Oh, okay. That's what I'm saying. The rule hasn't come out. And who can? Who's going to pay a 50 fucking... The, the, school, the school's with money. Nah, they're not going to steal that. Well, that wouldn't be worth it to Jamie's yeah. point. It's like, I'm going to pay you... Six hundred fifty thousand just to go on the road, and you don't even know too much about like what we do here. Like, it, 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 there's only so many coaches who can coach the players. Like, there's only so many D line coaches a position a D line group can have. Like, right? I'm gonna have what five coaches all telling me shit. Like, that don't even make sense. There has to be some sort of uh, you know culture involved and some sort of direction that we're in. And if you have you know too many coaches in any one position group with all the ability and uh, 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 access to just coach me up, then you you're, you're not coached up at that point. You know what so, I'm saying? There's, so there's we're too many too many cooks in the kitchen, so to speak. So we're talking about coaching and recruiting. It's all together. Everything, everything. You're, everything. you're only allowed to have ten right now. But I'm saying now you're saying it's unlimited now. No, that's what I'm not. I'm saying anyone on your staff right now. Yeah. So let's say they have thirty staff. They got four quality controls. They have four analysts. They got eight GAs. Whatever. They can coach you now. And oh not, yeah! Fuck before that. only ten coaches that were paid nah, to coach you. Nah, the, the, there's the, no addition to nobody. The, the, there's the, no the money. Undermining is going to be at an all time high, brother. I, 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 that's my point. <laughs> the undermining is going to be at an all time high. Yeah. Now, nah, don't worry, Smitty. Don't worry, coach. I don't know what the fuck he's talking about. Don't worry yeah. about it. Right, right, right. Saying, you, you, you do, you do, you, you do, you. Right. Oh, hell, that's how you. That's the issue. There's, <laughs> and then no, your there's no addition. There, you you got to confuse. There's no adding or money or play. It's ten coaches are on the allowed on the road now. 10 can coach. Now they're saying the GAs, the quality control, the analysts can now coach you and not be reprimanded for doing so. 
Cliff Kingsbury was not a part of the 10 last year. He got caught on national TV coaching Caleb Williams, and everybody's like, wait up, you're not a part of the 10. You're not a coordinator. You're not a coach. See, you're an analyst. But, so you can't coach them. Well, now they're lifting that rule so people don't get in trouble. But that's what I meant. See, you said earlier, who's going to hire a guy? They they brought Kingsbury, and he wasn't getting paid? No, he was an analyst. They, he he wasn't getting paid. He was an analyst. But you don't think he got paid? He had $30 million from the fucking Cardinals, bro. It's not like Cisco they hired. <laughs> it wasn't like Cisco from fucking Lawndale came over to be a fucking assistant. I'm saying they didn't need to pay him. That was, that was a coaching deal where, hey, dog, come on over. You can keep your name relevant. Come be an analyst for me for a year. Then you get a job. Yeah. Well, I I heard things and I said it on this show. I thought Cliff was about to be the head coach of USC. It was a done deal. If Lincoln got the Raider job, Lincoln didn't get the Raider job. So Cliff couldn't get the head job. Cliff wasn't going to stay as a coordinator anymore and at the college level. So then he went to the Washington, whatever. So uh, that's my point. He was coaching because that was going to be the next head coach. And that's why you saw him mm. on the fucking field coaching Caleb Williams. And, like, people don't want to believe all that. That's fine. But I'm saying that is what was going to happen. Antonio kept that job. Like I said, he, he popped that job. I'm glad he got it. I was hoping he got it. 